My message is to the parents of Trayvon Martin. You know, if I had a son, he'd look like Trayvon. The shooting death of Trayvon Martin was ground zero for racial division in America. Trayvon Martin was killed for wearing a hoodie, uh, quite frankly. I decided to produce a film on how the case affects American politics to this day. It had started as a self-defense case, but then, out of the blue, they found Trayvon's girlfriend. She is a minor child. This phone witness led to the most racially divisive trial since OJ. The girlfriend had written Trayvon's mother a letter. I put it in a box. Did you sign it at the bottom? Yes. What name did you use? Diamond Eugene. My investigation started with Trayvon's 750 page cell phone records. I made a shocking discovery. Trayvon did have a girlfriend named Diamond Eugene, but she wasn't the witness at the trial. To understand what really happened, I knew I had to find the real diamond. My research took me to the back alleys of Little Haiti. Maybe they can help me find diamond. Yeah, maybe they can help. To the high schools of Miami Gardens. To Florida's capital city of Tallahassee. And finally, to Sanford, Florida, where I got to know George Zimmerman. For the first time, he revealed Trayvon's last words. I heard him say, tell Mama Alicia I'm sorry. Then I found a tape where Rachel confessed to prosecutors. Real guilty. Why do you feel real guilty? I ain't know about it. Huh? I ain't know about it. And then, finally, I found Trayvon's real girlfriend, Diamond Eugene. I was then able to reconstruct the shocking story of what really happened the month before and after the shooting. I used forensic handwriting analysis and even DNA to confirm what I had uncovered, that Diamond was switched for a fake witness in a murder trial in the most stunning hoax in American judicial history, a hoax whose consequences have been tragic beyond anyone's imagination. In telling this story, my hope is to show how politicians and the media have pulled us apart when our shared aspirations have always been to come together as one nation.